G'day everyone, Rising Fun Gaming here. Exciting news is that 14 new weapon videos have been uploaded by Capcom Japan for Monster Hunter World. I've been looking through these briefly and I'm very excited to compile them, provide some brief translations in text form, and just provide a reaction video for you. So let's sit back, relax, and have some fun. Here we go with the greatsword first. In the Hunter's series of armor there by looks with what looks to be the bone sword. Here we go, this heavy, slow and powerful weapon. Looks like the Hunter has a shoulder charge move which he can uh, initiate a combo with, which is pretty cool. And um, I really like the toned down visual effects. And we've got, yeah, that follow on sort of spinning attack which is new with this game. I love how they've expanded the moveset for it, it's looking good. Here's a weapon that I may have tried to main in Monster Hunter Gen, the Longsword. I'm very interested to see this replete in that awesome Rathalos armor there. So I can smoothly link combo attacks together here. The movements look pretty similar to what I'm used to, but the forward movement whilst unsheathed looks to be a little bit more swift and nice. Oh, and this double backflip or backstep, which is cool. And we've seen that launching strike on a few of the videos that they've released for this now and the range of that slice looks to be actually pretty long which is cool oh, well here we go sword and shield looks to be Anjanath armor oh, we're already seeing a little bit of a difference in the combo there but a lot of it is very very familiar territory here obviously you can use some items whilst unsheathed and that was ah uh, that's the hunter shooting scatter nuts from the slinger so you can use the slinger whilst unsheathed as well <laughs> and a dropping shield batch which is really really cool all right so yeah again a lot of uh vertical movement with the sword and shield now like was the case for aerial now we've got the dual blades and what have we got pretty similar combo i love the uh roll evades too they're looking really good in this game okay so lots of um forward dashing which was in some of the uh, styles in Monster Hunter Gen, so they like to keep that. And I love that they've retained that particular spinning, jumping attack. It's so good. Yours was favorite, and a lot of others. The hammer. I think that's bone armor or some sort of variation thereof. Good old classic ground pound there, and the advancing uppercut for heaps, heaps of. KO damage. Uh, we got sort of that swinging uh, hit which we had in generations with some style and this is crazy. Just continuous downward punishment there. That's weird. <laughs> Been very cruel but I love it. Okay nice hunting horn. This armor is completely alien to me. I have no idea what that is. So apparently this has long reach and is easy to wield. I don't know about that so much. Definitely has long range but I think it's a technical weapon myself. Obviously you can buff yourself and other hunters. I think they've re-recorded the uh, music for this. The bagpipe's sounding a little bit different I reckon. Yep, very very cool. Again, I love the movement of all weapon types in this. It seems to be much more fluid and realistic. Got the lance with, I don't know what that armor was. Alright, shield advances, good to see them back. Oh, that looked like a powerful backstep and a normal backstep in one. Of course we can counter as per always, and charge. Straight, and more seamless than usual into the mount, I like that. Gun lance, oh, I love the sound effects going on here. Brilliant. Again, unfamiliar with what armor that is. Looks a little bit generic, doesn't it? <laughs> and the sound of this is sound effects all around are great, but for this weapon, I think they're really, really nice. Yep, that's a familiar combo right there. And he's launching some sort of shell or something in there, comboing that into a wyvern fire. It's crazy. I don't know what the heck that embedding of an explosive thing was, but that was fantastic. Switch axe, I've seen this a few times. It is pretty crazy. Alright, some familiar long range axe attacks here. 
Good to see them all unmolested. Of course the huge elemental discharge we're used to in sword mode. But I love the linking combos here. Ah, oh, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> sort of a jumping attack, launching into the head there and then just smashing out some more elemental bursts and um, sort of getting a leg up off the monster's head. It's crazy. Nice to see Rathians confirmed with this armor and uh, charge blade here. Again, I just love how toned down the visual effects are. It's really nice. Oh, that was cool, dashing in and kind of doing that turn around slice sword and shield mode. Boom. And of course, the big vial release move. Yep, looking mobile, looking awesome. Can't wait to try it. Here's the Insect Glaive from Monster Hunter World. Nice to see HD bugs. And it looks like there's going to be a lot more uh, staying in airtime, a la Tomfers, so... That's sort of what they're going with here. It's very, very interesting. I think it's using maybe the pheromone shot or maybe some other new function of the glaive to, to stay in the air, but it's it's good to have it, whatever it is, uh, kind of having a good purpose rather than just that one single essence shot. So that's cool. The crazy light bow gun. Again, mobility seems to be a huge thing. Well, it always has been for this one, but it looks even better now. With the back, the back sort of walking, walking backwards as you go. It's all fluid and lovely. The shot types you can do here. He's paralyzing it, and then he's putting down this Wyvern Blast, which looks to be um, able to be detonated with further shots. And who knows how other hunters can affect it as well. So that's really cool. The big old heavy bow gun. Getting better with each iteration of the game. Really enjoyed it in double cross, especially in brave mode. And of course it's famed for its hard hitting powerful ammo types shot from large distances. And we've got something called a Wyvern Snipe and Wyvern Heart ammo being shown here. Absolutely crazy. I loved seeing it finish off the uh, Anjana in the English gameplay video, so it's looking awesome. Again, this similar theme of more movement is it's only a great thing. It can only ever be a great thing for the series, for the franchise going forward. Here's another unfamiliar armor. Kind of looks like Macau, but I don't think so. And here we go with the bow, replete with its many different types of arrows. It's crazy how long this arc shot lasts for. It's just like a perpetual rain. It seems to be more than what I'm used to in other games. Again, you can use a whole bunch of stat shots. And then it's cool how he scrapes it along the ground and does that really powerful attack. Not exactly sure what's going on there, but there is a very fast run through of the weapon uh, videos that just got released today. I'm sure they're coming out in English very soon, but um, hopefully this serves as a nice um, informative uh, video in the interim. So what did you guys think? Um, I've had lots of fun having a look at those. Hardly ever, hardly even covered the nuances of what's happening in, in some of these uh, videos. So um, go ahead and um, add some comments down below, make some speculations. And if you've identified actually some of the armors in this video that I haven't been able to, please tell me. A lot of them were quite foreign and um, I was very, very excited to kind of look at them and only could just guess what the heck monster they could be from um so yeah that's been very very fun for me and it's also in essence confirmed that some of those monsters especially Rathian is coming back but how could she not right if Rathalos is in it so good to know that she's in the new continent as well and be great to uh, find out what else there will be in the future Alright guys, thank you so much for watching as always. My name's Rising Fun Gaming. Looking forward to reading the comments. And um, yeah, please look forward to Monster Hunter World and more videos coming out about it in the future. Till next time guys, it's goodbye for now.